In previous videos, we have talked about individual demand curves. However, it is much more interesting to investigate the demand of all consumers combined. If a government wants to implement a tax for example, do you think they will look at individual demand or market demand? Of course, they will look at market demand. Market demand allows them to estimate their tax revenue. But how do we find market demand? Market demand for a good is the sum of all the individual demands of all consumers in the market. For simplicity, we will only use two consumers in the market, you and your friend. Of course, in reality, there are many more consumers in the market. On your screen, you can see the demand for coffee. On the y-axis, we have the price of coffee, and on the x-axis, we have the quantity of coffee you consume. You can see that when the price is $6, you consume one coffee. When the price is $2, you consume two coffees. We can do the same thing for your friend. On your screen, you can see your friend's demand for coffee. Again, on the y-axis we have the price of coffee and on the x-axis we have the quantity of coffee. You can see that when the price is $6, your friend consumes zero coffees. When the price is $2, your friend consumes six coffees. We can now sum the two individual demand curves horizontally to obtain the market demand curve. At the price of $6, you consume one coffee and your friend doesn't consume any. One plus zero equals one. So we draw a dot at the point where P equals six and Q equals one. At the price of $2, you consume 2 coffees, and your friend consumes 6. 2 plus 6 equals 8, so we draw a dot at the point where the price is 2 and the quantity is 8. We then draw a curve through those points. Are we now done? No! At the price higher than $6, your friend isn't willing to buy any coffees. Therefore, market demand is your demand for coffee. This means that the curve is kinked by the rate of your individual demand. That brings us to the end of the video. If this video helped you out, please help me out as well by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is much appreciated. See you in my next video.